name is Kirsten Hose, Customer Success Manager at CloudBees. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your account and add users. Let's get started. Let's start by navigating to cloudbees.com and clicking the login button in the upper right hand corner. From here it's going to take us to our login screen and it has the option to create a new account. So let's go ahead and click on that. In this page, you have a few options for setting up your account. You can either use an existing GitHub or Google account, or you can create a whole new ID, which is what I'm going to do. So let me put in my email, which is rnewhoneybee at gmail.com, the company I work for, my personal information. Next, your Ford's username which is specific to you, followed by your domain slash account name, which is specific to your company. Know that these two things should be different and that you cannot change them in the future. Now I'm gonna log in. And here's what your console will look like as soon as you're ready for it. Now that we're here, let's go ahead and add some users. In the upper right hand corner, you will see a gear icon, which is the link to your account settings. So let's go ahead and click on that. In this screen, you're gonna see a couple things. Once you get your license, it'll show your subscription level, as well as your personal information, which you can edit with the little pencil icons down in the bottom. But let's focus on adding some of our colleagues in so they can have access as well. So let's click on the Add button. Here I'm going to add users based on their email address. If they previously had an account set up, on open source or somewhere else, it'll tell me on the right hand side. So let me go ahead and put in one of my coworkers and see where he comes up. Perfect, it doesn't look like he has an account, so I'm gonna go ahead and add one for him and put in his information. I'm also going to make a unique username as some have been taken already. And there we go, I've got him added, and I can add more people as well. It's unlimited, so you can decide how many you need, and you can also decide if they are an administrator or a user. But it's as simple as that, and you're done.